Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be making a lawn striper. I had somebody in the comments say that they would like to see me build one of these, so this is for you. If you put an idea in the comment and it's something that's in my wheelhouse, hey, I'll give it a shot for you. I'm going to be building a 60 inch lawn striper, okay? I've been looking online and these range from like 300 and something dollars to like a thousand dollars, okay? So I went to Ace and I got some four inch uh, PVC and some fittings and all that stuff and it was like uh, $99. So, hey, if it works, it'd be a lot cheaper than going to buy one, that's for sure. Pew. Man, they like those things. I got some four inch PVC pipe. I'm gonna cut it at 60 inches and then I'm gonna put all my fittings on and then uh, fill it with sand and strap it to the lawnmower and it should work. Well, let's get this cut first. My deck on my lawnmower is 60 inches, so I figured uh, I probably just want to make a 60 inch striper here. Man, yeah. Hey, that should work. Hey, basically all these things do is they bend the grass over. So if you get something round like this and heavy, I mean, it should work. Hey, it may not look as good as these four to $500 ones, but hey, it'll do the job. Hey, I, I don't live on a golf course, you know, it don't matter. But let's see here, I got some fittings. Hey, I splurged and went and bought me some of these fancy new microphones. Can y'all hear me better? Hey, you should as much as these suckers cost. Everything is so dang expensive nowadays. It's funny this guy commented to build this because I already had it in my mind because I just planted like four acres of Bermuda grass. We just built a house and it was in a field, so I spent like $800 on freaking Bermuda grass seed. I was kind of looking to build one of these anyway, so. I got some of these little eye bolts and uh, I got some lock nuts uh, that I'm gonna put on it. Hey, there's no way it's not gonna work, right? I got the fittings here that's got these screw-on uh, caps, so if I fill it with sand and that don't work, I mean, I can always go back and put some quick crate or something like that in it, you know? So, so get these, uh... <sighs> Jesus! All right, let me get some pliers here. Come on, all right. Go ahead and glue these ends on here. Hey, I'm not sponsored by Mountain Dew, okay? I just, I like that Mountain Dew, so whatever. I don't have any primer, okay? So just doing it like this, be fine. Get these ends on here. All right. I seen a guy on YouTube that made something kind of like this, but uh. His one was like for a push mower, and uh, I'm putting this behind my zero turn, so we're just scaling up a little bit, you know. All right, so I got the, my ends uh, glued on, so I think I'm gonna get these eye bolts and put one, you know, like right there, and then on the other end. Then I got some chain that I'm gonna run towards the middle to my lawnmower, because I, uh, so I think that would work fine. So let me get a drill bit. These eye bolts came with these nuts, but uh, I bought some uh, lock nuts. So I figured them will work out after time, so should be better like that. Let me go see what size this is. Drill this. All right. Maybe that's the right size. Oh yeah, perfect fit. Now I gotta screw all these on. Oh, come on. Hey, I did that perfect. I don't even need a bolt under it, do I? There's no way around it, guys. I'm gonna do it like this.
Perfect. Ugh. You all think about that, huh? You think it's going to work? I hear a lot of people in the comments are worried about my safety, so I'm going to put my shield on here. It's for you guys. What do you think? Looks good. Safety first, you know. All right, let's see. Probably need them. Um, see how long these are. Do it like probably four foot. This one. Four foot. All right. That gotta be plenty. Fudge! That is hot. Hot, hot. Oh my gosh. Alright. Alright, got my chains. Oh yeah, that's gonna be just right. I'm gonna cap one end off and then go fill it with sand, which should be loads of fun. Get my wrench. Ugh, gosh. All right. Now we go fill this sucker up with sand. All right, I got a little sand here left over from our house. So, I don't know how long it's gonna be coming. It'll be a little awkward, I think. Man, yeah, got a little bit in there. Hey, if this ain't heavy enough, we could get some quick creek and put in it, you know? Or some rocks. I don't think it's, it's got to be just extremely heavy, but all right. Hey, it's filled up now. Oh, God. That should be plenty. That thing probably weighs 80 pounds, probably. Right, let's take this back in the shop. All right. I got it back in the shop. Clean my threads out. <sighs> you can probably buy like the instead of using the threaded ends, you could probably just get the caps that go on. But I just want to make sure I can get into this if uh, it wouldn't work in or something, and I could put something else in it. But Ooh. Joker's heavy now. All right, I got these little chain connectors here. Maybe I got the right size. Oh yeah, they barely fit. Connect chains on here. Come on, all right. Okay. I've got a little clip to connect these two together. Oh, yeah. Now I just got to hook it to my lawnmower. 
All right, now we just gotta hook it to it and give her a good yank, you know. Woo! All right, let's go try it out. Hey, it's working. My line ain't that straight, but <laughs> hey, it's working. You tell that in the video. Hey, it's hard to tell right now because my grass is kind of tall. I need to mow it, but you can tell the lines in it going that way and then going this way. Hey, it works. Hey, I think it's a winner. What y'all think? I need to mow the yard, then do it, and see what it really looks like, which my yard is kind of patchy right now because, like I said, I just wanted to that grass. But, hey, thank you for watching and subscribe. And if you have any more ideas, hit me up in the comments, and I'll try to get it done for you. Thank you.